ready for some Halloween fun. Stay tuned and we will see what Papa has in store for you. I don't want to scare you, Eli, but we're going to look, look at a book, a very scary jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> How do you carve a scary jack-o'-lantern? Elliot asked Grandpa Bud. You must get a pumpkin from the yellow-eyed, snaggle-toothed witch, Grandpa Bud answered. From the yellow-eyed, snaggle-toothed witch, Elliot gasped. How do you do that? Well, said Grandpa Bud, on a moonlit night, when the air is crisp, a black cat will stroll out of town. Follow it. The cat steps into a cornfield and disappears. Dry leaves rustle softly in the wind. And then, clat tat 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 a skeleton dances by. Follow it. The skeleton stops at the end of a pond and dives in. You hear no splash, but it's gone. Three pale ghosts rise out of the mist. They swirl, they sigh, they hum. Follow their song. As they glide through the woods, the ghosts melt away. And owl hoots, bats swoop down. One of them seems to lead the way. Follow it. In a clearing in the woods, stands a tiny hut. Walk right in. There's no need to knock. Inside the hut, you're not alone. A long-legged spider spins down from the ceiling. A huge steaming cauldron stands on the hearth. And then she appears. From where? Who knows? Eyes closed, our arms outstretched. She holds a large orange pumpkin. Now watch carefully as she opens her eyes. Do they shine yellow as she starts to cackle? Does a snaggletooth show? If so, take the pumpkin and run outside the hut. The black cat returns to show you the way. Follow it. Run through the woods, past the pond, across the cornfield. Run and run until you and the pumpkins are finally safely home. And then, Grandpa Bud said with a wink, you'll be scared enough to carve a very scary jack-o'-lantern just like this. The end.